Ben, uh, new two year deal with Bernard, you must be yeah. pleased with that. Yeah, yeah, delighted obviously. Um, really enjoyed last season. Um, we, we managed to stay up, which was the the only goal we had really. Um, so, as the manager and the chairman have said before, it was a successful season for the club. Um, and want to kind of stay here and try and replicate and, if possible, do do better things than that going forward. Um, played 38 of the games last season. Manager says that just shows how important you were so towards the end of the season, especially he thought you played as well as, as anybody. Uh, yeah, obviously, um, when I signed in, the manager said, look, we, we need you to come and, and, and play games. Um, the manager, to be fair to me, took a massive risk on me because... The two years before I signed, I, I couldn't get fit with my ankles. Um, I had several operations which failed, um, and then I found a surgeon in London that was doing sort of a revolutionary technique of, of ankle surgery. And, and Touchwood, that's that's worked. But at the time, the gaffer obviously didn't know that was going to work. He, he took the my word for it that I felt good. He took the, um, the surgeon's notes, words for it, saying that you know he believes that I could could play a championship season. And hopefully, um, I repaid him by contributing to, to helping us stay in the league, which obviously is a success for himself um, and the rest of the club. Um, but I'm obviously very grateful that the manager took that. Uh, it's a gamble, really. He took that gamble on me last season that my ankles were okay. Um, and I'm, I'm obviously very grateful that he did that. And is that all behind you now and ready to. Yeah, I mean, touch wood. I mean, it's one of those things. I don't want to ever be there again because it was two years of hell, basically, to be honest, in football in terms. Uh, it was the lowest I've been in my career in terms of my confidence in my own body to play games because my ankles were, were failing me. But um, like I say, I thank, the, I thank the surgeon massively, and he knows that I've kept in touch with him with my progress. Um, but I, I honestly haven't had any problems with them. So um, as I say, touch wood, uh, they're, 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 that's behind me now. As last season's 38 league game shows, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm grateful for the surgeon. I'm especially grateful for the manager for, for enabling me to play Championship football while was proving my my physical state was was good. And the result of that is a, is a two-year deal. So club yep. committing to you, you committing to the club. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy here. Location-wise, I'd spent a lot of time away from my family before I signed for Burton. Um, and basically, I I want to play Championship football. I want to play. I want to play at a club that. He's properly run with a good manager who, who, you, who you can trust 100%. And uh, really, every time you go on the pitch, you, you're doing it as much for for the rest of the club as you are for yourself. And, and that this is that kind of club with the, the manager and the chairman we've got here. Um, you feel like you, you're playing for everyone and you're not just playing for yourself. It's not a selfish club. It's a very um, there's a massive emphasis on togetherness and teamwork at this club because there has to be because we, we came to the championship and we were behind every other championship club in terms of what we've got in terms of our stadium in terms of the playing squad we were behind um, and we had to max out in every aspect to stay up and we did and we can only do that together and it's that kind of club where you go on the pitch and you feel like it's 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 an us against everyone else kind of mentality here and I love that um, We obviously surprised the bookies and perhaps a few of the other teams in the division last season yeah. is it going to be uh, harder next season because people have seen us now and maybe not yeah yeah well it's, de- it's certainly not going to be any easier um, and uh, like take it from all the players and, and the staff it wasn't easy last season I mean it, it, it was a mentally draining towards the end wanting to get over that finish line um, and be safe um, we, we did that and next season it certainly isn't going to be any easier um, I think the bookies have got us a bit of a, a bigger price to get relegated because they've obviously saw what we can do here now. They've saw that we can upset teams and we can go and get results home and away. Um, but you know, it's going to be a big turnover of players. We've lost a lot of loan players. Um, hopefully, all eight of the lads who are being offered new contracts will actually end up being here, which is big for the club. But we need to, well, not we. The manager's going to have to go out into the market again, uh, replace the loan players, see whether he can get any of the loan players that he wants to be here permanently. Um, and if not, he's going to have to look elsewhere and, and try and make us as strong, if not uh, if not a bit stronger than last season, so we can we can at least replicate it. We, we finished the season obviously really strongly, so I yeah. guess the key is taking that momentum into the start of next season. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the things we did last season was we lost the first two games. Um, we shouldn't have, but we did. So if we can get you know if we can get a win on the board in the first few games this season we'll be three points ahead of where we were at that stage last season so there's always little little areas where we can try and build on our tally so so we can hopefully try and be safe earlier than we were last season that that would be lovely and obviously we had that rough spell leading up to Christmas where we, we didn't seem to well we couldn't get a result for a while 
Um, so those are the few areas that we can hopefully build on if we keep the, keep consistent for the rest of the, the season. I'm, I'm sure we can stay up again. We absolutely can stay up again. I've said it all last season. Every time I was asked, can you stay up? Yeah, we can. And uh, we can definitely replicate it because there's 24 teams and we've we've got to um, first port call again. Can we be better than three of them? And then how far can we take it after that?